What's up everybody, I'm Jeremy from Wild Tech Designs and we're gonna have some fun today talking about RVs. Well, more specifically, this E350 RV and this as an adventure RV coming in at 23 feet. As you can tell, we did quite a bit to it. So I'm gonna walk you through everything that we did on this and show you just how amazing these RVs are when we're all done with them at Wild Tech Designs. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna start off in the front of this. And the first thing that you're gonna notice is obviously a lot bigger tire on here. So we are running that 235-85-16. Now what is different on this is we actually powder coated the wheels black, not running the hubcap. So if you're thinking about doing that, this is a good example of a different option available. We're gonna jump in here. Of course, we did bigger coils. We've added the Fox shocks to the front of it. Of course, we love to talk about these extended radius arms. You can see see all the room in the wheel well back here in the back that's going to move this wheel slightly forward there's no trimming of the bumper because we did a front bumper and we're going to get into that in a second so on this as well we did our arb on there so now you have onboard air you want to go off road you want to go adventure or go off grid like the kit name well you're able to deflate your tires and then when it's time to come back onto the road just hook up the air to it and you're able to fill up your tires. I mean, dude, it's simple and easy, but I want to let you guys just reinforcing just how important it is when you run a lower tire pressure, how much better it's going to do in that soft sand or even just on the dirt graded roads, pretty much anything off-road, a lower tire pressure is going to be beneficial. Let's talk about what else is beneficial and that's up on this front bumper. All right, so we're gonna see this looks awesome. This is going to be the tube winch bumper on there. And now what's really nice is tucked in there is gonna be that Warren 12S. Now what the S means is it's going to have the synthetic rope on there. You're gonna have full accessibility to get in there. But the real key thing to this bumper is, is it's only about six inches off the front of this grill and really only two inches bigger than a stock bumper. You can see that we're running two of the Light Force Venom lights. A lot of times we're using using these as a driving light because we've opted to do the little four inch pods in there and running the amber lens to give you that fog light where normally we would run a driving light. So all really seamless. You're gonna have your D-ring recovery mounts on there as well. Another thing that you're gonna notice on the front of this is this blacked out grill as well. That's gonna pretty much wrap up this front bumper. We're gonna keep moving to the back, let's go. So before I show you all the awesome suspension we did in the back, I wanna show you something else. So with this off-grid kit, this is gonna be a six inch suspension package. So this would have been quite a big step. You can see that we've installed a double quickie step on there. And now what's going to be really nice is when you open the door, you're easily able to access your RV. You can see that if you had to take that one big step, now it's really easy getting into this which is going to be really nice. Now, when you get to your favorite campground, there's simply a button right here on the inside. You turn it off and now the step's gonna stay out. It's not going in and out every time you're going in and out of your motorhome. That is definitely awesome and something that we've added as well. So now for real, we're heading to the back. I'm gonna show you the rear suspension. Back in the back of this, again, we're gonna see these Wild Peak AT tires. Now, remember a couple things, guys. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do an E-rated tire on the back of any RV. I know a lot of you, when you price out tires, you find the size, which is the 235, 85, 16, and then you find a really inexpensive tire that's not E-rated for your tire. It's going to be a lot of problems in the future. Another reason why we run the size tire is because the dualies that you're gonna have, the dual rear wheel setup, up and you may see that abbreviated DRW. The tires aren't going to rub as well. You don't want to cause premature damage on that as well. We're getting all of the suspension lift in the back of this by those rear springs, which is going to be a plus. A lot more height in the rear, but the key thing to this is now the springs are actually built to the weight of the RV, not like a typical RV where you would just have a really flat or even negative spring on there as well. There's a ton of room as 
as you poke your head in there, all kinds of room for activities. And what you can also see is a killer set of Fox shocks that we added to the back of this to control the ride. I mean, overall, this is pretty nice. And then one last thing to think about is if you ever have to put air in your tires, it is rather difficult to do that. So we've added a set of valve extensions on there as well. This is going to make filling the inner and outer tire really simple. Now, another thing that it's going to make simple is deflating your tires. So if you were to hook up a tire deflator to that, it's going to be accessible because most tire deflators, it would be really hard to get them onto the OEM valve. So another plus in doing this, now I can hook up my tire deflators, set it to my designated pressure. That's it up here. That's pretty cool. Now you saw we added a bunch of lights to it. Let me show you how I'm controlling all those lights on the inside. And as I walk around this thing, getting all excited about the shiny things like this beautiful bumper and worn winch, I forgot to also mention that we did do a Fox steering stabilizer on the front of this. Now, what's really great about that Fox steering stabilizer is you don't have to have a suspension package from Weld Tech Designs. You can just put any of our steering stabilizers even on your stock Class C RV, and it's going to work really well. All right, we're really heading inside this time. Come on. As we jump in here, this thing is pretty sweet on the inside. It's definitely not factory. I mean, this is a pretty cool Toyota, right? I mean, Toyota. Strong with the force? Well, Tech Designs is. Mm. Hey. We're working with what we got here. So on this is gonna be the Switch Pro panel. And what's really nice about this is it's going to give you eight features. That's also going to be able to operate on your Android or Apple phone, which is great as well. You know, we want to be able to control everything with our phones. You're gonna have your air compressor, your onboard air, which you'll be able to operate as well. And then your driving lights and your fog lights. Now, another key thing is as you want to add more accessories to this, you're not having to run additional wiring into the vehicle. The brain is all gonna be located under the hood and you're just gonna simply run all your wiring up to that brain and be able to just add stickers to the panel and it's amazing. I love running the Switch Pros. I have them in my van. That's all I got, I think, on the inside of this. We're keeping it simple, Switch Pro panel. Well, there it is, guys. We did a lot of really cool things. The bumpers, the lights, the winch, and of course, what is really awesome is going to have the ability to have that onboard air. I probably use my onboard air more to fill kids' bike tires and inflatable toys than I do my tires, but I have it on there, and that's what's great about it. It's out of sight, out of mind until I need it. We're gonna have that fitting in the front as well as in the rear to be able to have it where I can just hook up that hose and go. That's all I got on this RV. It was definitely a killer build. A lot of fun stuff going into it. If you guys have more questions about anything we did on this, put them in the comments down below. We will be happy to answer your questions. Otherwise, that's all I got, guys. I'm Jeremy from Wild Tech Designs. I'll see you in the next video.